You want to stop when you don't feel any more resistance. And you do this really a few hundred times. So I've been kind of blading, skimming the surface of it when it's painful. Yeah, that helps because... Oh, come on, that's really nice. So Nick, I'm just going to stand up. So there's our Baruka there. So it's right underneath the second. So Nick, I'm going to come in from the side. Three, two, one, scratch. And I'm just going to gently advance the needle. If I go deep down, you will feel a little bit of, of a stinging sensation on the underneath the foot, and it will just sting a little bit as it goes in. Yeah. Okay, that's known as patient feedback. So, my patient, who's unnamed, Nick, not his real name. And it will start to go numb in just a second, Nick. He's, can you just see it tenting the skin there? And we are done. Three, two, one, off. Thank you very much. Wasn't he brave? Did you know he was brave when you married him? Holy <laughs> fuck. Camera off it. Yeah. Let's stop it. That's it. Okay, so Nick, I'm just going to start, not his real name, Nick, I'm just going to start really nice and slow. And what happens is you get that little bit of pinpoint bleeding. And then we basically do this for about 90 minutes until we've completely walloped the bejesus about of that Veruca. I say bejesus, apologies to any of my Christian viewers. Other mythical figures are also available, like Santa Claus and fairies. actually upset one of my patients this morning because I told her a joke about the Pope. I looked in her notes and realised that she was Catholic, which I should have known, but I didn't realise the Pope was Catholic as well. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know? I know, I did. Mm -hmm. It's one of my phrases. I was too busy saying don't use condoms in Africa where they've got the biggest epidemic of AIDS, but you know, he's, he's a busy man, he does what he can. Oh, it's brilliant. I channel my, my inner acupuncturist when I do this. So what we're trying to do, Nick, is pop as many of these Veruca cells as possible, oh, okay. release as much virus particle as possible, push it below the skin, and then the, the body's got a chance of going, oh, Veruca, right. Yeah. I'll make some, well, I say antibodies, it's not really antibodies, but... It's really, it's a called a cell mediated response. So you have antibodies that fight things inside cells and white blood cells outside. But I, saw, I talk about antibodies to patients because they kind of understand that. And you want to mash it up as much as you can. How's that coming on the video? It's a nice job, Mrs. Nick. Not her real name either. And you can really feel when it, it's here, here, it's all nice and soft. So you want to stop when you don't feel any more resistance and you do this really a few hundred times so i've been kind of blading skimming the surface of it when it's painful yeah that helps because the thickness of the callus is what makes it sore and the sponginess the actual lesion makes it quite sore the way it is so is that the right thing to continue yeah, well, to do to make no 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 yeah keep irritating it the more you can irritate it the more veruca skin skin cells you can damage the more virus you can release the more you're likely to get a bit of a response okay. from your body basically get on top of it so i'm trying to
push that Veruca through. So again, leave it for a couple of days and then maybe... A couple of days and then by all means start again, Nick. A little bit resistance. when it bleeds, but maybe that sounds like... Yeah, and what we're actually doing is the opposite. Shouldn't. Yeah, no, so, yeah, the opposite. The more, the more you can release it, the more you're trying to push it. So it's nearly all nice and we talk about getting a, like a feeling of like a blancmange. Is it responding well? It is. This, but this is easy. The needle is the easy bit. The difficult bit is, is trying to get the body to get the memo. Mm. And that's it done. I, mean, these I, are have, these, I have been these lovely safety needles. So, uh...